Hey, I hope you're doing well today. And today I've built a really interesting AI agent called the Chameleon Agent. And this AI agent here can actually change a system prompt. It can change to any large language model that you want to use. And it's all within the same AI agent. So I thought this was a really interesting concept and I thought I'd share with you today. So I'll do a little demo and we'll get into it. So basically here, if I just open up the chat and I, let me just drag it up a little bit. Now, if I put in WS, which stands for web search, and I just get the latest AI news. Okay, so you'll see it going through the LLM router. And this is actually choosing a model for me as well. Then it's performing, obviously, the web search as well. But we can see here in the LLM router, the result that it's using here is OpenAI GBT for a mini, okay? So this is an actual expression, meaning it's changing, it's dynamic, right? It's not just one set hard-coded model or value. This is always changing. And if I just jump into the AI agent here, we can see that it's system message with this expression right here. This is also generating a system message solely just for web search, okay? Now, the reason why this is important as well is because we might have extra little rules and instructions that we want to give our agents, right? Because we don't want to be creating prompts which are like, 2,000 words long and we're just getting really bad inconsistent results hallucinations and I thought this is kind of a way of how we could fix that so I'll try something else here as well okay so WS in this case is a web search now ST and I'll just say how to grow a beard okay so ST actually stands for sequential thinking so in this case, we're going to be using this node right here, the sequential thinking node. Now, if we actually open up the LLM router, we'll see that the model in this case is Anthropic Claw 3.7 Sonnet thinking model. Okay, so we're not using the previous model, which was um, GPT-4 Mini. Okay, for this case, because it's a sequential thinking task, it's going to use a more powerful thinking model as well. And then obviously the system message here as well is also different you see so now we have a different system message again based on the task at hand for this case is sequential thinking so it's giving us a system prompt for sequential thinking and then there we go we get a simple sequential thinking result so how have i made all this how does it work well first things first we have a chat input now of course the chat input can change with telegram Okay, it can change with Slack, it can change with your email if you wanted to. Uh, in this case, I'm just using a simple uh, when chat message received little trigger here. But then what's happening here is going through a code node. Okay, so if we look at the initial chat input, it says COM servers for Airtable. Okay, so COM stands for like in this case, compass. And then if we look at the code here, what's happening is if the prefix is com okay it will out compass so we can see here in the out the mode is compass and result is service for air table now the reason why i have res uh, result here is because i don't want that com this initial one here in the initial chat input to actually be sent to the ai agent because then it would be thinking what does com mean right so i've actually stripped that with a slice in the code here Okay, and then this is the result, which eventually after this would be sent to the AI agent. And then after that, what's happening with this code node here is it's going through a get superbase node. Okay, so we can see the mode up here is compass and the value in here is compass using this expression. So this is always going to change based on, you know, what we're using, what the task is and so on and so forth, right? But this is actually getting a row, okay, from the prompts table, which is a table that I've set up in Superbase. It's based on the name or ID of keyword. So that's the actual column. Okay, and then it's outputting this. So this is actually what's in my table in Superbase. So if I go to Superbase now, we can see right here within the table, I have compass, okay, and you know, various other things as well. But I have compass, which is the keyword, the prompt, which is this right here. And then I also have the LLM, which is this right here. So these values from this are then passed to the AI agent, okay? So we're taking the prompt and we're putting in the system message right here, okay? We're then taking the LLM and I'm just opening up the open router node here. And the model, rather than having it, you know, set as a list where we're just choosing one by one, I've just set as an expression. And then I've just dragged this over from the super base node. We can see the LLM here. I've just dragged it straight into there. So now it knows which model an LLM to use, okay? So in this case, it's just GBT4 a mini. Now, if it was a more extensive task, I might go for something like Claude 3.7, maybe 3.7 thinking model, 
okay now if it was something where i just needed simple speed and it had to be fast it might be gpt mini a gpt4 or a mini but then you might say but hey i want to use google gemini use google gemini you know use perplexity use anything that you want this is the beauty of it okay and we can set this up all within our superbase and you can use any database that you like i'm just using superbase because it's the best now in terms of the llm now, if I come in here, I can actually search through the list, right? So let's just say I wanted, hey, you know what I want? I want O3 mini, open AI slash O3 mini. And then I would just hop on over here and then I would just go like this, change this to O3 mini, save that. Now, when I come back over here and if I perform the same task as before, which was com service for Airtable, look what happens now. Or I could just be a dumbass and actually put the wrong model name in there. So hang on one sec. It's not GPT. It's just O3 mini. So now, sorry about that. We'll resend that again. And now we can see the model that's being used is OpenAI, okay, O3 mini. So this is always gonna be changing for whatever models that you wanna use. And the great thing is, is that you could set it up like really have all of the things that you want in here, right? With all different models, like the best performing models for that particular task, because you might not wanna use GPT-4 or mini to do a creative task, like writing things and things like that, right? You might want to do and use Claude 3.5 or 3.7, okay? And then you might say, well, I want a reasoning model, you know? Or I want to use China's new model, which is uh, QWQ. Go ahead. Now, coming into Superbase as well, if we just look at this right here. So in terms of the system prompts as well, you don't have to copy this word for word or anything like that. If you want to use your own prompts and you have your own particular style, use it in here okay it's absolutely fine nothing wrong with that at all all you're doing here is that you're just building the prompts per task per tool that you know you want to actually call like in this case would be like one for air table one for the vector store one for compass sequential thinking if you wanted to have 20 more tools as well and then you know you would have 20 more prompts and if you wanted to use the same llm across them all if you wanted to change you know and have several different types of llms as well you could absolutely do that. I mean, this is all up to you. This is kind of just opening your eyes a little bit to the possibilities of what you could do rather than having to like think like, oh, I just have to do it like this, right? So it's, it's an ex exploration type of thing. Play around with it, have some fun with it as well. I think that's the beauty of it all. And now I'm just gonna take Mistral Small, I'm gonna put it over here, put it in here. Let's do an air table as well, see how this goes. So I've just reset everything, reset the session, and we'll just say air table, so it's just AT, and we'll say get my subscriptions, something like that. So we're saying getting my subscriptions from air table, now it's gonna generate a response, and then there we go. I have 15 active subscriptions. We can see I've got NA10 right here as well. I have Google Workspace, and several other random things is there as well. So I just wanted to make a simple little video on this one anyway, just as a, interesting little concept that you at home could probably even use yourself and i think it's a really good use scenario for this as well if we had a workflow with like you know several nodes with like 50 different nodes or 100 different nodes we could utilize this because we would actually be changing our system prompt every single time every time that we wanted to do a particular task that's going to allow us to get more reliable results but also pinpointing on the specifics of the task that needs to be completed by our ai agent as well now if you're interested in taking na10 more seriously Seriously, and you want more courses and templates and so on and so forth, feel free to join the school community. I'm here every day. If I don't see you there though, I'll see you in the next video.